Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome six-time NASCAR champion, driver of the 48 Chevrolet SS, and a true friend of Chevrolet, Jimmy Johnson. Sir, welcome, you, Jimmy. Glad to be here. Welcome to SEMA. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Boy, that is beautiful. Absolutely unbelievable. Yeah, this car is uh, something cool, and I just can't thank you enough for the opportunity to, to be a part of such a cool project and the LT1 and the launch of it. Well, everybody, Jimmy worked with us on this 1971 Corvette Stingray, and of course the 71 Vet had the original LT1 small block. Solid lifter with a cam. It was a little heavier than today's <laughs> engine, yeah. but still lighter than the Mark engines of that time that were the big blocks. But now this car has a brand new LT1 crate engine. Jimmy, what was it like working on this car and then developing it with our team? You know, it was such a fun experience. Um, it's amazing what can take place in, in a short period of time and through phone calls, meetings, meetings at the racetrack before uh, I climbed in the 48 Chevy to go uh, you know, practice and qualify. We kind of worked our way down from you know, some big concepts into the area where uh, you know, I liked to, uh, to kind of build cars myself, which is try to keep it that classic look, maintain the original kind of look and feel of the car, and then dress it up uh, from the inside out and put some real power behind it, great brakes on it, suspension, all those things. And, uh, that process evolved, met some great people, some very passionate people, and I think we have a great product. Well, I think, um, I think you did this, and then you followed that up um, with a race at Michigan, um, what you won. We did. There was nothing like winning our, in your backyard. Um, <laughs> exactly. I've been so close to that track, and we found every way to lose that race, and then uh, I think the inspiration from the Stingray led to a, a great win for us. Well, that was one of four races that you won last year. And I think uh, most importantly, you've won 70 now as of this yeah. last weekend. So congratulations. That's just, that's phenomenal. Yeah. And I wasn't in the fight. No, no, just, you weren't just in the fight. I just won the race. No I fights. wasn't in the fight. <laughs> no fights. <laughs> what, did you, uh, what did you see uh, really in the overall design? What did you really want here? You know, and I think you, t you hit on it a little bit here, but um, this car was always one of the most beautiful shapes of Stingray ever. Um, so what did, what did you do here around um, some of those original shapes? I agree. I didn't want to change much at all. Um, this body style is really um, one of my favorite, if not my favorite, body style of the, the, the vets. And, and to see the, the new uh, scene rays that are coming out, that, and then I had a chance to drive the C7, um, it's just such an amazing shape and look to it. And I didn't want to take anything away from that. But of course, wanted to put some great power in it, have it stop, coil over suspension. Um, and then even on the inside, try to keep it kind of close to its original look and feel. Um, add some modern comforts to it, but still give you that good feel of, of what 71 offers. And for me, when I, when I drive my old cars that I own, um, I like to get in and slow down and just enjoy the moment yeah. and kind of take a flashback in time. And I still think you have that experience with this car. And hopefully take in some of the old smells of old cars too, right? Correct, and then lay yeah. some rubber down too with that lay new power. Some, that's right, that's right. And it, it's nice, you even kept the, the three-spoke uh, classic steering wheel there. So, Absolutely. Uh, it, it, it's just beautiful. Why don't we open the hood there a little bit? So uh, let's talk about the powertrain a little bit. Of course, when this car was new, it had a Gen 2 uh, small block at the time, and this was a 350 cubic, cubic inch cast iron block and heads and made about 270 horsepower with a four barrel carburetor. So working with Jimmy, we, we selected the Gen 5 LT1 crate motor and paired it with our new Super Magnum six-speed manual, which is a phenomenal transmission. It really is something different. It is, and I love the fact that you can't fit anything else under the hood. I mean, you've <laughs> used right. every No air pumps either, no. right? No air pumps. <laughs> it's awesome when you look under the hood. Yeah, that's great. Um, and, and I think you use some crate, crate motors for your, your, your uh, 67 Camaro and your 49 pickup as yes, well. Yes, I right? do. They're my two, uh, two drivers. The black truck's kind of my everyday driver until I have uh, now had the need for car seats. Yeah. Um, the, <laughs> the Camaro is an inspiration car that I built around uh, Randy Dorton, who unfortunately was on the Hendrick airplane um, back in, uh, I guess it was 04, and built that car around a race engine. And, and since we put the LS7 in it, it's, it's, a, it's a great That's engine. Special. That's yeah. a very special car. Well, our team built this car at a Milf Milford Proving Grounds, and uh, this is a very special group of people out there as well, as you can see in the, the time-lapse video here. Um, these, these people are, have a great passion for building the car, but also had an incredible experience and passion around building it with you. So uh, congratulations to them. Um, there's so much under this car beyond the fiberglass. The braking system is from our 6th Gen Corvette Z06. Um, the suspension is a full coilover. The guys did a great job. 
Jimmy, thank you so much for working with us on this fantastic Corvette. Thank you. I've been a Chevy guy my entire professional racing career, and I take great pride in that fact alone, and then to also be a, car, a part of such a great project, so thank you. Well, before we let you go, that was really a great race here the other day, so um, congratulations on that. Um, it was a beautiful car, too. The, the red SS was just fantastic to watch, and um, you had a great story about that uh, on getting some parts from uh, four, you know, the original a, a year later, or, sorry, a year earlier on the setup and bringing it in and just dominating everybody from a speed standpoint. So. Yeah, we had a great test session in, uh, in Homestead, Florida a few days, I guess last week on, on Tuesday and Wednesday. And uh, the new guy on the team literally had to drive a van from Florida to Texas with parts and pieces that <laughs> worked at the test session to put on the car, and, and it got us a trophy in Texas. Well, it was, it was a great effort. Um, thank you for all you do for Chevrolet. And Brad Kozlowski, I think, said it, said it best. He goes, if, if I don't win this race, then Jimmy Johnson's going to win it because he's got an incredible car, and he's an incredible driver. So congratulations for that. Thank you. Uh, good luck the rest of the season, Jimmy. Ladies and gentlemen, Jimmy Johnson. Thank you. Thank you so Thanks, much, man. Thanks, man. You too. Congratulations.